Hello and welcome to another episode of Maitland Explains. Today, I'm going to talk to you about a revamped module of MEX15, Imports and Exports. Just as it sounds, this module will help you easily get data into MEX and just as easily get it out. Let's jump right in. During my time in the custom work department, I had countless jobs where customers would send in a spreadsheet and ask us to translate their data for use in a MEX database. Sometimes this process was strenuous and took a few days to complete, involving the to and fro between me validating the data and the customer fixing up any invalids I found. Our aim in developing MEX15 was to simplify and streamline the enhancements upon introduction to the system. Imports and exports was no exception, and we went about making the entire process quicker, easier to use, and efficient in its processes. First off, let's take a look at the importing side of MEX15. Go to the hamburger menu at the top right of your screen and click Import, Export Data. Now you'll see two tabs, Import and Export. Just make sure Import is selected and click it to continue. There are three main aspects you need to be mindful of when using the Import features of MEX. Firstly, you have the template hyperlink, which points to an Excel spreadsheet that you must use to enter the data into. Secondly, you'll find a sample, which has a complete import in it. Now use this if you get a bit lost during your data entry. And third, you've got an import button. Once you've filled out your template, simply click the import button, find the template, and you're on your way. This raises the question of validation. How can you make sure your data is right before it goes into Max? Well, here's where we've cut out the middleman and really made things faster. So once you've selected the spreadsheet to import, MEX will tell you, down to the row number, exactly what's wrong. Now, here you can do two things. Either you fix up your data, or you just ignore all the invalid lines and import them anyway. Each import has constraints, quirks, and mandatory fields. If you're interested in knowing exactly what an import does, there's an article in the user guide which explains each one in depth. Now the link is down below in the description. I'd also like to mention, for those comfortable with spreadsheets, this means you can save time by creating or updating your assets or readings or what have you in a spreadsheet first and then importing or updating mass amounts of data in one go. This saves you time and money. Win-win. Now that reminds me, we actually have another Matlin Explains on the system management cycle and getting the most out of your data. So before you go and import thousands of asset records, check out that video below in the description. Now let's go to the other tab and check out exports. You'll see that each record is made up of a file type selection, an export button, and a selection of all, or nuisance last run. So all you've got to do is find out what type of export you want, and select your desired file type, and click export. Now once it's finished loading, a hyperlink will appear at the top right hand side, which you can click to save the spreadsheet. If you've selected the nuisance last run option, Max will only export the new records since you last exported. Now this is especially useful if you're interfacing with another product or if you only are interested in those new records. You may have noticed the edit button in the button bar. Here you can edit the definition of an export using simple JavaScript and have the data twisted, changed, and formatted however you like. This includes setting up an automatic FTP transfer, exporting without column headers, and you can choose the file types available for the export. Editing is also available with imports, 
with each definition freely available through the edit button. Usually, someone at Max would customize these for you, but those who are eager to create their own, each import and export is commented throughout the definition and reading through them will help you build up an understanding of exactly what you need to do. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Maitland Explains. As always, you've been great, and this is Maitland, signing off.